Fighting games allow for freedom of expression both in and outside of the game. Now, one of the most important factors in a fighting game is the controller you're using. Today, I'm going to touch on the popular options of controllers and what you might want to get if you're looking to get in the FGC. Uh, important stat, by the way, I, I'm, I'm not in a thousand subscribers. Let's get there, guys. Remember to like and subscribe. Also, spoiler warning, I'm going to be using data from the, the Esports World Cup. And again, do your own research if you want to support anything with Saudi Arabia Esports. I'm just looking at the stats of it and looking at what controllers people were using. So if you want to skip any spoilers about the tournament, if you haven't had time to watch it yet, go to this timestamp here and you'll avoid hearing any spoilers or results now uh justin's curse affecting him not, not at all <laughs> i think we all made that face you know uh, fighting against angry bird right now i mean i've never played against angry bird in my life but i can tell you what i do that oh, face even in ranked <laughs> yeah no <laughs> Now, the first driver controller is the PlayStation controller. You got the PS5 controller or the DualShock. I actually personally have a PS5 controller, and they're very reliable and quite easy to use. The setup is easy, and there's no worry for any kind of connectivity issues. One of the biggest advantages, though, of this bad boy right here is the price. Now, I'm listing all the prices for stuff in Canadian, as that's where I live. And that was a classic if you looked at any gaming gear in the fighting game scene or just in general gaming. They always work toward gaming stuff or high quality stuff that you need to buy to be a pro gamer. I'm going to break that real quick, by the way, because I don't have any affiliate links. Otherwise, I definitely would sell you on something. Best Buy area, you can get this bad boy for about $89.99. The controller will only take you so far. At the end of the day, nothing will actually make you win. Things will just help you have easier access to unlock your full potential. However, different models of the PS5 controller can cost different prices. I personally have not tried all the knockoff controllers, but I'd recommend sticking to branded ones. You no, know, because it's a little bit more reliable. Another huge thing to think about when you buy a PS5 controller is they're easy to replace. If your controller is stolen, spontaneously combust, or if you, you know, throw it off a building because you get upset, you can just go buy a new one. As well as traveling, think about how compact this kind of controller is. You can fit in your bag, on your person, or inside your person. Now, what I mean by that is you can put it in your app. Now, most tournaments are also run on PS5, so if you have a PS5 controller, there should be little to no problems about connectivity and no need for adapters. The same cannot be said by other options we'll talk about a little bit later in the video, but I've had problems personally with my hitbox at PS5 tournament events. You have to get a wingman. It's a whole other thing we'll, we'll discuss later. The one personal downside about this kind of controller is that it hurt my hands after long times of play period. Now, that problem isn't common for everybody, but for me, it did cause me to not want to play on a PS5 for a long time. In the past games, PS5s were seen as a lesser option for Street Fighter games, but with the new game in Street Fighter 6, PS5 controllers are not to be messed with. Some top players to look into would be Meta RD, Punk, Bill Kevin. They all use PS5 controllers. But clearly, you can still compete at top level with this control option despite its lower investment cost. And if anything happens, you can just return it to a store if you don't want to play on the controller anymore. The next one we're going to talk about is the Fight Stick. Now, this seems to be a popular option for gamers who have been playing Street Fighter for a number of years or just in general are a little bit in the older demographic. You notice the design comes from the old fashioned arcade games with the stick on the side as well as the buttons laid out for strong, medium, and heavy options. And holding back on charge characters has been noted to be quite a good feeling. Full hand on it, some people find that you buy better range of motion. Now, the price of this starts to get a little crazy and can vary a lot. Not only the price varies, but the types of fight sticks you can get are insane. You have someone like Itsubashi Zangief with this, this Duvid Smurts kind of controller. There's no better name for it. This is, but although fight sticks allow for greater expression, there can be situations where people make claim using macros and whatever. So, there is heavy regulation on fight sticks to make sure that they won't allow you to do anything that you shouldn't be allowed to do in game with any other controller. The one thing, though, that is important about fight sticks is the cheapness can be felt. A different branded controller could read wildly different results. The lifespan of the controller could be quite short as well as adaptability issues to different kind of consoles. As well as it's a big honking boy. I don't personally have one but they are some big boys and you definitely can't fit this one up inside of you. As well as potential damage when trapped. You can even see at a set in CEO we had a problem where it was delayed by like 20 minutes yeah, really because there's a problem with the box and it's very specific to each player so NL didn't want to just replace it with any normal box. It's that's the box he uses. If you're someone who really enjoys the arcade day if money is no issue I'd highly recommend looking at a fight stick. As well as the adapters I mentioned before they're about $85 they're called wingmans that allow you to play on any PS5 if you're playing on a fight stick that doesn't already have console adapters into it. The last really important one is called the hitbox. The hitbox is probably the most well-known one. I personally have a smaller hitbox called the Sally Box, which looks like this. When the game first dropped, I didn't really want to wait for the long shipping times as again, I am in Canada. So I decided to go with the Sally Box, which is pretty cheap. You can find one for about this price. The buttons are based around the keyboard setup, which I enjoy as I play a lot of PC games, so it was really easy for me to transition into it. So if you're one who strays a little bit away from console, I'd highly 
recommend looking at Hitbox. Hitbox has a lot of advantages too, as it's one of the more common ones you can try and buy at many different gaming events. You can even get them styled a little bit differently and have cool expressions on them. Someone like Lashar even has a full setup keyboard on his Hitbox. They're probably one of the more creative options out of all controller options, as you can kind of do whatever you want. I even have an extra button on my controller. It allows me to program and set up different moves on that button if I want to. At some point, they might have certain rules that allow you not to have too many buttons, as I guess a whole board with buttons might be a bit of an issue, but Hitbox have had the most discussion about their legality in certain tournaments because you can set up different macros and whatnot to help advantage your gameplay. So Hitbox is my personal preferred method to play, although there is some situations and difficulties doing 360s, for example, when I play Zangief. At the end of the day, it is up to you what you prefer to use. I prefer a Hitbox, but again, Make sure you do your research and decide which one you want to pick and how much money you have available to buy. At the end of the day, no matter what you get, you're going to spend a little bit of money and you need to decide how much the upkeep of that money is going to be and where you want to take the game for you. But thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe. I will have a full video covering the Esports World Cup one, later two, this week. Three.